Singer Jenny Rivera went from teenage mother to musical powerhouse, becoming the most successful female artist of all time in banda. She was so bold. Unapologetic with her music. Her trials became her musical triumph. On stage, she bared her soul. And off stage, a single mother of five, an entrepreneur, philanthropist, and actress. Jenny Rivera for LA and Long Beach specifically, that's homegrown talent. Then at the height of her career, tragedy struck. You have Jenny Rivera performing at a sold out show or flies out of Monterrey and then the jet just goes missing. On the red carpet honors the life of a music icon. There will be no one else like Jenny Rivera. She instilled strength in these five children. Remembering Jenny Rivera. In a way, you could say that she walked through some of her fans' shoes. And I'm here tonight to enjoy the music legacy of a great woman. And I was so surprised because her songs were actually talking about my life story as well. I know that we are different people, but we have so much in common that I connected to her and to her music at a very deep level. She was a woman that went through a lot, and I, I always tell the, the audience that sometimes it's not about not falling down, but it's about how you get up. And she knew how to get up with strength, with courage. I think men also were pulled in by her charm because she did often sing about them. <laughs> Cuando muero una dama, which is, that, that, that to me is so powerful. It's a song about, in translation, it's basically it's her wishes of like how she wants to be celebrated, how she wants to be remembered. It was brave. Most people don't even think about the idea of death because it's, it's too surreal. And for her to like, all right, what would happen after and what's gonna, and how do I want people to feel? What's my message to all these people that I love? I think for us as her children, for her legacy to be of how she's inspired, but for her to also inspire other women, whatever it may be, if they're going through domestic violence or you know, their life didn't go as they planned, to just keep believing because if it could happen for her, some girl from Long Beach, it could happen for them. There's this moment, this memory that I can only imagine because I wasn't there of my grandpa. They didn't have enough money for her to have a quinceanera. So they bought her like a nice dress and they drove her around in his, the back of his car. And he drove her around, like made her own mini parade in Long Beach. And he said, you're the queen of Long Beach. So it just, I, for me, that's how I felt like maybe that's why she's so proud because she's the queen of Long Beach. She, she really did. Yeah, <laughs> she became the queen of Long Beach. <laughs>